are Lies Beneath, which is upside down, and Promise. everybody it's your girl Jay and today I am here with an unhaul video I have 10 books that I am getting rid of so if you are new to this channel then you do not know this but if I give a book three stars or less then I unhaul it because I have way too many books on my shelves I'd rather have books that I enjoyed on my shelves than just keeping every book that I have so that's what most of these books are and they're going back to the thrift store so without further ado let us get started so the first book that I have, I was actually so disappointed that I only gave it three stars because I thought I was going to love it so, so much and I was so, so wrong. But it is There Will Come a Darkness by Katie Rose Poole and I gave this a three out of five stars. So it's not like it's a bad book. I just could not connect with any of the characters, which is really weird because I read the second book as well and gave it a four out of five stars. So I don't know why it was so different for me, but unfortunately not the biggest fan of this one. So it's going off to the thrift store. The next book is another one that I really, really wanted to love and just didn't. I gave it a three out of five stars and it is We Hunt the Flames by Hasfa Faisal, which like I said really disappointed me because everybody seems to really like this book and I don't know if I just was not in the right mindset or just wasn't in the mood for this book, but I thought it was very average so three out of five. The next book is Akita Witch by Nendi Okafor and I gave this again three out of five stars. I think that the magic system was very interesting in this and I am going to be continuing on with the series because I own the second book but I just found it to be very slow in the beginning which is understandable because the magic system is pretty complex. Everybody has like their own magical ability that needed to be explained so I get it. I just wasn't very invested in the story until halfway through so it was a 3 out of 5 for me. The next book is another 3 out of 5 star read, so it has to go back to the thrift store, but it is The Tenet by Katrin Endberg, and honestly I think I didn't enjoy it very much because I found the writing style to be very stunted and just didn't flow nicely, but it is a book that is translated. It's like Swedish or German or something, so it's obviously not going to translate 100% flowing wonderfully because of that, but it just kind of brought me out of the story, so 3 out of 5. The next book is The World That We Knew by Alice Hoffman, and I gave this 3 out of 5 again. I think I'm just not a historical fiction reader, and I always try to force myself to be, but I always end up giving them 3 out of 5 stars. I just think that I don't like the history lessons that come along with these types of books. I just kind of want to be thrown into a world that doesn't actually exist you know? So this is on me, it's my own fault, but I'm giving it to the thrift store so somebody else can enjoy it because I know that a lot of people really do love this book. The next book I have is Beast Made of Night by Tochi Onibuchi and I gave this again 3 out of 5 stars. I was really depressed because I wanted to keep it just because of the cover. I think it's so pretty. But this is again kind of like Akita Witch. It is very very slow because everything needs to be explained. The magic system is very complex and I just didn't connect with any of the characters. Like I did not care about what happened to them. I think that the idea of the shadows being eaten and stuff was really cool, but just wasn't for me, you know? The next books that I have are part of the same series. They are the first and second book of the Lies Beneath series, but it is Lies Beneath and Deep Betrayal by Anne Greenwood Brown. I gave this a 3, this a 2.5 or 2. I'm not 100% sure, but I know that I like this one more this one not so much. But it's basically a series about like killer mermaids, which the first book focused on a lot. But the second book was just the main character Lily complaining about how she's not a mermaid the whole time and complaining that her merman boyfriend didn't love her enough. So I just, you know, I'm getting rid of both of them because I don't care for them. I have the third book, which I'm going to finish just because I own it, and then I'll be unhauling that too, so you'll see that in a future video. Then the next book is because I am big dumb and didn't think I owned this book, but I do own this book. It is Bad Girls Don't Die by Katie Allender. Like I said, I already own the book. I don't need two copies of the same book, so this one's going back to the thrift store where I literally just bought it from. And then the final book is a book that my boyfriend's mom gave me. The the woman who wrote it is their neighbor and she was unhauling a bunch of books so she just kind of gave me a stack of them and this was in it. But it is The Angolan Girl by 
Thelma Rocha. I didn't read it. I have no interest in reading it. It's like an autobiography of this girl, Thelma, and it like came with a note saying thank you for giving me all your books because she apparently gave her some books too. So I guess they did a trade, but I'm not interested, so I'm just gonna give it to the thrift store and hope that somebody there would like to read it because I asked my boyfriend's mom if she wanted it back and she said no, just send it on its way. So that's where it's going. All right, everybody, so that was my unhaul this time around. Let me know down below if you have read any of these and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah. <laughs>